Ancient Filipino tattooing practices are arguably the origin of all Southeast Asian and Pacific Island tattooing styles we see today. It is believed that all ancient cultures on Earth practice some sort of traditional tattooing and that it was deeply connected to their spiritualism, culture, and history. Unfortunately, these traditional tattooing methods and their symbolism have disappeared from most cultures due to colonization and religious stigma. It is believed that Southeast Asian tattooing can be traced back to different migration paths that led early humans through China, Borneo, and Taiwan into the Philippines and out into the Pacific Islands. In fact, the word for tattoo in much of Polynesia, tatau, means to mark or strike or to do what is right or correct, depending on which island you're on. We can trace the etymology of tatau to two Filipino words, tatak, which means to mark or brand, and totoo, meaning truth. Coincidence? I think not. And it's high up in the mountains of the Philippines where the old tattooing traditions have been preserved. Although they were nearly lost due to the brutal cultural genocide of Spanish colonization, the survival of these ancient Filipino tattooing practices against all outside forces is simply amazing. In pre-colonial Philippines, tattooing was a widespread and accepted tradition of being Filipino. It identified an individual's status in a tribe, their spiritualism, it was a mark of personal beauty, and tattoos were also considered an extension of their clothing. When Spanish explorers attempted to stop Filipinos from tattooing themselves, they responded, Why then should we be naked? Tattooing in the Philippines was a sacred event. Before the process began, omens and prayers were offered to the Anito, spirit ancestors, to receive their blessings. The tools used consisted of a handle made from water buffalo horn or wood, needles made of bamboo, brass, or thorns, and ink made with pine soot and water held in a coconut shell. The needles were affixed to the end of a handle and another stick would be used to create a tapping motion which applied the ink into the skin. The Visayan people of the Philippines were called Los Pintados, or the Painted Ones, by the Spanish because of their prominent tattoos. For the Visaya, tattoos made of rows of triangles, called Labid, represented crocodile teeth or steps of a rice terrace, which were a figurative ladder to the Kaluahatian, the sky world where gods dwelt. For the Kalinga people, the forked tongue of a snake, called Kilinaurog, was a physical avatar of your ancestors, where the hissing sound these snakes made were the whispering voices of your ancestors guiding you through life. The Ifugao of northern Luzon had an ipi ipit or scorpion tattoo that symbolized the deadliness of the warrior wearing it. The sun was also a central part of Filipino spirituality and was tattooed often. It represented the Kaluahatian, sky world where gods dwelt. A resurgence of interest in ancient Filipino tattooing methods and their meaning is sweeping across the Philippines where the younger generation of Filipinos, like Lane Wilkin and Isla Rhoda, are tearing down the stereotype that only criminals have tattoos. They are single-handedly helping to revive this deeply cultural, symbolic, and spiritual practice. And it's high up in the mountains of the Philippines where the old tattooing traditions have been preserved. Experts like Apo Wang Old have helped keep alive the ancient tattooing practices. For modern Filipinos, these tattoos are a literal window into the lives and spirituality of their Filipino ancestors, connecting generations together in a living, unbroken history, not recorded on paper or canvas, but intimately and permanently etched on the bodies of Filipino fathers, mothers, sons, and daughters. The information for this video was sourced from William Henry Scott's Barangay 16th Century Philippine Culture and Society, Diccionario Mitologico de Filipinas by Ralph Angelo Reyes, The Art That Exhibits Philippine Culture and History by Christina Baclig, Lane Wilkins' Filipino Tattoos, and Daniel de Guzman's The Beautiful History and Symbolism of Philippine Tattoo Culture. All of these resources are available online. The artwork was generated by Midjourney and is also available for free through the link on my profile.